so for our ingredients we have some cauliflower of course and this is just a whole head it was kind of a smaller head so it's not too too much but it needs to be cooked so i'm gonna make it all we have some unsweetened creamy cashew milk now make sure whatever plant-based milk that you get is unsweet even if it says original i've made the mistake of cooking with original almond milk before and it is still sweet so make sure that it is unsweet because it will ruin your recipe then we just have some dijon mustard some nutritional yeast some lemon juice some vegan butter apple cider vinegar some syrup then we have some tapioca starch now this is what's going to give your vegan cheese like a cheesy texture so you want to make sure that you get that as well i know i had a hard time finding it but eventually one day i forgot where i found it from i think it was at the farmer's market organic white miso paste some white pepper just some little pearl onions here you can use regular onions but those just needed to go and then for our seasonings we have some cumin turmeric for color garlic powder onion powder pink himalayan salt and then just some smoked paprika so what we're going to start by doing is our cauliflower is already washed so we're just going to boil some water and while that's boiling we're just going to go ahead and take the skins off of our onions and roughly chop them up okay so now once our water comes to a boil you're just going to carefully add your cauliflower in and then also we are going to add in our onions and you don't need to worry about chopping up your onions all small because this is all getting thrown right into the blender so no need so now you're just gonna let that boil until it gets nice and soft okay so it has been about 10 minutes so we're just gonna do a little fork test to see if they are tender and they are that went into the fork very easily so we should be good to go so now you're just gonna remove from the heat and carefully drain them and let them cool down for a few minutes okay now add your cauliflower and onion mixture into the blender i don't know that we're gonna use yeah we are oh that's a lot might as well go big or go home y'all we're gonna have cheese sauce for eight days but i also want to point out the channels that i use for my inspiration and they are actually Simnit, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Simnit Nutrition, Let's Eat Plants, and Chef Jana. I will link them all down in the description below so you can check them out if you would like. This is just two cups of my cashew milk. Chef Jana, I don't know if it's Jana, Jana, she said not to skip out on his butter, baby. Look all right to me. I'm just gonna add in some syrup now. I don't know how much. That should be good. Apple cider vinegar. So I looked up all these recipes, but I did not write them down. I'm just gonna do what I wanna do. And then we're just gonna add in some of our lemon juice, our Dijon mustard. Oh, yuck. I'm just gonna squeeze some up in there. Our miso paste. Deal. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not about to measure out all this stuff. So we're gonna take our white pepper smoked paprika, our cumin, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of our onion powder, a half teaspoon of our turmeric, and then our nutritional yeast. We're honestly just going to add a whole lot. And then for the salt and the tapioca starch, we're going to add in at the end. Ooh, this color is nice yes just go ahead and give it a nice taste hoping for the best here that needs a lot of help all right so that needs some help we ain't even gonna lie let's add in some more nutritional yeast this is a lot of sauce you guys I mean, this is where you just adjust everything to your liking your your tasting we'll go ahead and add in our pink himalayan salt some more lemon juice. All right, now let's take it from there. Let's see. All right, we're getting there. Listen, it's all about trial and error, baby. We're just gonna add some more of everything. And I think that's what it is because all the recipes that I saw, they made way less than this. So I think my seasonings just weren't proportionate. That's all. I think we need some sort of spice elements. I like spicy. We're gonna use a little bit of cayenne pepper. We got a winner. Ooh, that spicy did it. All right, so lastly, we're just gonna add in our tapioca starch to make it a little thicker. So we'll start with. So that was about five tablespoons when you count how much it was heaped over. 
So let's go ahead and so now we're just gonna move it back over here to the same pot that we used to boil our cauliflower and our onions. This is a lot, y'all. Don't be like me, y'all. This is a lot. At least now we know for next time. Now with tapioca starch, it's the same thing as if you were cooking with um, like cornstarch or flour. You wanna make sure that you consistently stir it because if not, all your stuff will get stuck. Look how nice and thick it's getting. Yeah, okay. Y'all look at this. Look at this, the way it's just bubbling up, looking like cheese sauce for real, y'all. I primarily made this cheese sauce because one, that cauliflower needed to go. But then also, for dinner tonight, one of my favorite, favorite meals before I went vegan used to be the TGI Fridays sizzling chicken and shrimp. So they also have a chicken and cheese one. So I'm gonna be making that tonight. But then the rest of this, I don't know, is I got a lot going on here. So there is our 12 pounds of vegan cheese sauce. Don't make as much as me, but hey, enjoy. <laughs>